So we'll start from the chapter one of module one, that is production to solve mechanics. Okay. So let's go where I put. Okay, can you see this what file? Yes, yes. So this is your uh, class notes for the class material for uh, first class. So you will get in your student portal also. Okay, so don't worry. I'll just go for it. you will get it. The first class. So we'll discuss about very basics of soil mechanics or just clean building. Okay, the first topic is what origin of soil. So we'll discuss about how soil actually forms and what is the type of soil based on origin. So the basic thing that every student must know this from where we can get soil. Okay, so we'll get to know about this. So I have prepared one PPT also for that. So let's uh, present you the present. Can you see the presentation? Can you see the slide? Can you see? Can you please respond. Hello. Is it visible, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Visible. Okay. Yes, sir. Fine. We get it. So I think uh, about soil. I think we have already discussed in the last class, the introduction class. It is what is soil. This soil is what? Soil, in, as per engineering point of view, soil is considered as a complex material. Okay? Soil, soil is a complex material and it is, what is the origin of soil? Rock. Okay, so from rocks only we can get the soil. And for different point of view, we can define soil in a different way. For, for engineer, so these things already discussed. Again, I'm just going to repeat these things. That as per engineering point of view, the soil is a material that can be used for, or that can be used to build on foundation of buildings or bridges, okay? And which is used where basements, culverts, and tunnels are built in, and embankments, roads, and dams are built with this material. And also soil can be used for or uh, can be used as a supporting material for retaining. The general definition of soil in terms of okay. So let's discuss about origin of soil. Okay. So let's go to the next slide. Okay, I'll just stop. Okay, can you see, right? So we'll discuss about formation of soil. So I think you can see this uh, statement of Formation of soil. So, what is formation of, formation of soil? The formation of soil is the result of the geological cycle continually taking place on the face of the earth. Okay. So, it is a process. It is the result of the geological cycle. Now, what do you mean by this geological cycle? So, in nature, a geological cycle is going on, which actually uh, result in the formation of soil. So this geological cycle consists of, of four stages. First stage is weathering. Next stage is transportation. Next stage is deposition. And fourth is, uh, it's a rare case, but still uh, upheaval. Okay. So, so first stage is your weathering. And transportation, deposition, and upheaval. Okay, wait. It is not clear in my well. So I think it will be 
Is it the problem of course uh, everyone or some only for few? Is it visible? Anyone please respond. I think from my side, the network is strong. I think from your side, maybe <laughs> you can Sorry, it's sorry, it's visible, but your uh, audio is cracking, sir, in what mind. Is audio is cracking. Sir, your voice sir. cracks sometimes. Yeah, I'll try to go slowly, slowly, okay? Maybe network for must be here. Okay. Anyway, you will get this recording also. Just go through this recording also. Okay. For now, try to understand. I'll go slowly. Fine. Okay. Wait. Yeah. So. Can you see this uh, line diagram? Can you see this line diagram? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is a line diagram of geological cycle. Okay. So from this, you can understand the formation of soil. Now let me you know, explain this, what is actually here. So this thing, can you see? This a uh, here type of thing. So suppose yes, there was a rock. Okay, there was a rock long years back. So suppose uh, let's assume hundreds year back there was a rock. Okay, let's name it as a parent rock. Like okay, like a parent rock. It's known as parent rock. So because of the uh, changes in the atmosphere, because of changes in the uh, you know environment, like which is known as winter. Okay, it is known as weathering because of the different weathering condition. Some soil particle or you can say rock particle may break down from the edges of the rock. Right? So now question arise: what is weathering? So weathering is a natural phenomenon or natural causes. Okay. So let me tell you about this. So weathering is actually a natural phenomenon. So it may be due to two types or two waves will be there like physical weathering and chemical weathering. Now what are the uh, factors under physical weathering and chemical weathering? Let's discuss this. So because of what? Rocks particles may break down from the parent rock. Okay. So under physical weathering, uh, there are some like uh, causes like Temperature changes. That means there must be some so, uh, uh, heated area, okay, or maybe cold area, okay, because of the temperature variation. So rocks may break down. Another uh, reason may be grinding action of flowing water and wind, okay, because of the flowing or uh, grinding action of wind or water, this also may break the rock particle. Okay, so next maybe. Splitting action due to ice, rain, or penetration of plant root. So somewhere you can also see some root plant come through the rock, isn't it? So that by this also they make the rock weak, and some part of the rock may break down. So these are some physical uh, causes, or you can say physical weathering. So under chemical weathering, so you all know in geology also. We have uh, you know gone through this geology vertex rock uh, rock is consists of some mineral isn't it? lots of mineral mineral may present in rock okay so these minerals may react with the atmosphere okay that means outside environment and they make some chemical reaction like oxidation carbonation hydrogen okay and because of that uh, due to that result of that chemical weathering rocks may be break down so these are the two main weathering. So first one is what? Physical weathering. Next one is your chemical weathering. Okay, fine. So after weathering, rock particle may break down. Okay, and some rock particle may stay or you know, exist nearby this parent rock. Okay, and some fine or lighter rock particle may, you know, Travel from one place, that means from this place to another place. Okay, so this is actually known as 
second stage of the geological cycle that is transportation okay so this second stage is transportation that means the rock particle which are lighter or may not be lighter some other means also the rock particle may travel from one place to another okay but for the transportation of a rock particle it requires some mode of transportation okay that means it requires something because they don't have any lake within it so they require something so that question may arise how they can travel from one place to another so there is come some natural mode of transportation okay so like wind power the so wind can also may uh, take this some fine rock particle from one place to another next water or river water or anything you can say so flowing water so water can also take some rock particle from one place to another okay even like ice also ice also take one place to another uh, ice also can take rock particles from one place to another if, if it in the cold region okay and the fourth one is your gravitational flow so even in the line diagram also you can see this portion at this point is in a higher elevation higher elevation than this point okay so of course it is the uh, logical that soil particle or rock particle may roll through this this place and it will uh, you know uh, deposit it here and this is because of the gravitational force okay so so we have discussed about four mode of transportation first this what uh, water you can say flowing water then ice okay then what um, wind and for this work gravitational force so due to this mode of transportation rock particles may travel from one place to another so this create the third stage of your geological cycle that is deposition okay now it's a very very you know few chances of upheaval but there may be due to any natural causes uh the earth crust may displace upward direction okay you can see it, its arrow direction so this arrow direction is going upward direction so because of the displacement of earth crust in upward direction along with the displacement of the earth crust these deposited rock particles also also move along with the earth crust in upward direction and it will reach a new place okay so it will it will be the fourth stage of the geological cycle that is upheaval okay so if after this fourth stage again you can say the weathering the first stage or first upheaval again continue okay weathering again will take place then again maybe a transformation then again deposition again maybe upheaval so this cycle will continually going on on the face of the earth okay so that's why the definition is of formation of solid bar it is the result of geological cycle continually taking place on the face of the earth okay have you understood till now you can respond by you know in the chat box or by unmute yourself yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. okay so this is okay. about uh geological cycle of soil formation okay. so after that we'll discuss about some types of soil based on origin of soil okay based on origin of soil okay. so based on origin of soil we can define soil or we can yeah so types of soil based on origin so we can define soil in two ways first is what residual soil and the third uh, second one is your transported soil i think from the name only you can easily understand so residual soils are found at same location where they have been formed and transported soils are actually whether rock material can be moved from their original site to new location by one or more of the transportation agencies to form transportated soil okay so let's go back to the line diagram so from here also we can find out the position of 
residence soil and transport. So in the beginning, I already uh, mentioned that after weathering action, after the rock breakdown, the weathering action, some rock particles which are heavier or you know, or due to any obstruction, they remain nearby the parent rock. That means the original position. So the rock particle or soil particles which are remain nearby the parent rock, they are known as residual soil. Okay, and some example one of one of the example of residual soil is your black cotton soil. So we'll discuss the next. Uh, slide. Okay, and the transported soils are those which actually transported by the natural means, natural mode of transportation from their original position to the new position. Okay, they may be transported by water, they may be transported by air or ice or gravitational force. So they, they all are known as transported soil. But again, transported soil. Again, transported soil um, categorized under different head based on mode of transportation. Okay. So based on different mode of transportation, transported soils are classified under different heads. So let's discuss about that different types of soil under transported. So here some examples or some you know, yeah, some examples examples of transported soil. So First one I want to mention here alluvial soil or alluvial deposit. Okay. So what is the what do you mean by alluvial deposit? They are written here. The soil that are carried and deposited by river are called alluvial deposits or alluvial soil. That means the soil trans, uh, transported and deposited by river. That means, for example, the soil. You can see in the bank of Brahmaputra or any river. Nearby the bank of the river, the soil you can see. Okay, you have, I think you have also visited for picnic places also. That soil are known as alluvial soil. Why? Because they are transported and deposited by river water. Fine, river water. And in alluvial soil also again divided or you can have different categories like uh, lacustre deposit and marine. So this lacustrine deposit and marine deposit. So what's the similarity and difference between these two lacustrine and marine deposit? So both these soils are deposit, uh, transported by water. Okay. Lacustrine soil and marine soil both are transported by water, but this lacustrine soil deposited in lake. Okay. And this marine deposits it is deposited in sea water. So it is deposited in sea water. Okay, so in the bed of the lake, you will find lacustre deposit, and in the bed of sea, you will find out, you will find marine. Okay, clear. So next is your glacial deposit. That means from the name also, you can uh, understand the soil that are transported and deposited. By the ice, okay. They are known as glacial deposits, okay. And third one is your the soil particles carried by wind and subsequently deposited are known as airline deposits. That means the soil which are lighter, very fine in sizes, uh, and very lightweighted, they are maybe transported from one place to another via wind, okay. And they are known as airline. Deposit. And the fourth one is uh, due to gravitational force. The soil transported and deposited by gravity or gravitational force, they are known as polluvial soil. Okay, so these names are very important from your engineering, uh, your company exam point of view also. Okay, so sometimes they will ask about this uh, very basic question. Okay, so try to remember these different types of soil based on different modes of transportation. Okay. So some of the popular uh, name of soil I want to mention here. So I have already discussed about black cotton soil, already taken the name. So black cotton soil are there, then loamy soil, then maroon soil, loose soil, sand dune, 
P, and many more. Okay. So what is black cotton soil? I already told you that black cotton soil is a residual soil. Okay, not a transported soil. Mind it, it's a residual soil, and it is having high plasticity. We will discuss about it. What is plasticity? We will discuss. Okay. For now, just listen. So it's having high plasticity. Okay. Exhibit high swelling and shrinkage, and it contains mont borulonite clay minerals. Okay, and the parent rock of black cotton soil is basalt. I think you have heard this term. Basalt is a type of rock, isn't it? I think it's a igneous rock, I guess. So I'll just go through and get cross verified. So the black cotton soil is come from basalt. Rock. So what is loamy soil? Loam is a mix. Mix of sand, silt, and clay. So about sand, silt, and clay, we'll discuss in coming coming classes. So soils are also classified on the basis of their sizes, not only based not only based on origin. So till now we've discussed about the types of soil based on origin. We have again a classification of soil based on sizes because we can find in nature different sizes of soil. So based on Different ranges of size, we can different classifications. So they are like sandy soil, clay soil, silty soil, okay, gray, gravel, are there, fine sand, medium sand, all sort of categorized categorizations are there. So we'll discuss in coming classes. So till now, just uh, uh, no, go through this what I'm discussing. So loamy soil is a mixture of sandy, sand, clay, and uh, silt. Then maroon soil is a mixture of gravel with red clay. Then loose is actually an airline deposit. It is trans deposited and trans transported and deposited by uh, wind, isn't it? So airline it is a airline deposit. Uh, it contains silky sized particles. Then next sand dune. Sand dune is also a airline deposit. And it contains particles of same size. Then peat. Peat is actually a highly uh, no, a decomposed organic soil. So what do you mean by organic soil? So organic soils are what? So these soils are mixed with some uh, bioorganization. Bioorganism uh, uh, from few years back or long times ago, maybe the soil may be mixed with dead bodies of plant, animals, okay. So they may be biodegraded or decomposed and they mixed with soil and they form organic soil, okay. So if the percentage of organic matter is high, the dead type of soil is known as peat. So highly organic soil, so peat is a highly organic soil. It contains high decomposed organic matter. Okay, so this is all about Today's class overall. Wait. So I'll just stop the sharing now. So have you understood till now? Any doubt till now? You can ask me anything. Am I audible? Yes, sir. So I think. Let me give a summary of the class. So we have discussed what? We have discussed about how soil. Okay. Soil kaise? Actually, we can get a kaise peda one. Okay. So how soil can be you know, formed in nature. So it's a result of geological cycle we have already discussed. Okay. So it contains four stages. First stage is what? Weathering, transportation, then deposition. And then upheaval, okay. And uh, weathering also can be done, uh, can be occurred by two ways uh, like what your physical weathering and chemical weathering, okay. So, also, we have also discussed about different types of soil based on origin. Fine, so based on origin, we can find different types of soil and also. We can define different types of soil based on mode of transportation also. Okay, clear? Any doubt till now? Any doubt? No, sir. No. No, sir. Okay, very good. That uh, okay, fine. 
so this is all about your first class i i have not taken any uh, uh mode you know for a particular class i just want to go uh, slowly slowly that's why i haven't you know considered lots of things in a one class so i'm just closing the recording also okay i'm just uh, stopping the recording